<laughs> I'm crossing my fingers that the products are back to normal. What's going on, product? Hello everyone, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Vanessa and this is my daughter Emily. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing and showing you guys swatches of the Joyfree Star Mini Velour Liquid Lipsticks Bundle. And it's the nude bundle, which is volume 2 if I'm not wrong. There's a little backstory to this whole video. I wasn't going to mention it, but I was just thinking it's my experience, so maybe I should talk about it. And the situation was handled very well. So so no shade at all but I'm gonna just talk about it because it was my experience I'm about to show you guys how the bundle looks like and this is the way it set up and it's so cute for some reason I thought it was gonna be bigger I don't know why but I just thought so but let's start off with a little mini story so I got this bundle and if you guys don't check your makeup once you buy it please do that I recommend you to always check your makeup to see if it's broken something's wrong with it and just things like that because in my case something was wrong when I got the package I wasn't gonna look at it because I'm like no I'm gonna wait till I review it because I want to be shocked but I just opened it. I didn't swatch nothing. I literally opened it to check how the lipsticks were because with my luck, I know something is about to be wrong. And behold, the lipsticks were like half empty. And I know Jeffree Star said that the mini lipsticks were going to be filled to the rim. And they weren't. You could tell they were empty. And it was just a bit annoying. Oh, by the way, I didn't even set it. I did not get the bundle with Jeffree Star because it was sold out. I got the bundle in Morphe. So, mind you, I was a little bit upset because this is my first time ever trying a Jeffree Star product. So, I was a little bummed out. But at the end of the day, I just started checking like reviews. But I went to Jeffree's site and there was no reviews. I'm going to check again and if there was, I'm going to pop it up. But from what I remember, there was no review, so I don't know if somebody else had the same problem. And then I checked Morphe. Morphe, the same thing, got no reviews, no stars, nothing. And then I went to Beauty Bay. I think if I'm not wrong, Beauty Bay or Beautylish, something like that. It's uh, another website, and there were reviews, and there were a lot of reviews saying that they received their mini liquid lipsticks empty or like half empty. And I was just like really, like, I was bummed out because you know you wouldn't expect this to happen to you. So I contacted Morphe, and they were so sweet. They handled it so good. I actually got a refund on the package. They asked me if I wanted to get another bundle but I wasn't sure I was quite scared that I was gonna receive a bundle the same way and I also read supposedly that this could also happen because of the product shrinking but it's supposed to you know go back to normal once it's in a warm place so I left them away in my room did not touch them I'm about to see for the first time and open it and see how it looks like I'm not sure how it looks like I hope the product like expanded besides that I like the way Morphe handled it they were so great and I just loved them so let's just start by checking out the lipsticks and hoping <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers that the products are back to normal so you guys are about to see first let's see how it goes please tell me guys that it's back to normal I'm about to see for the first time and they're the same. I kind of made it better because I was trying to keep my hopes high and be like, oh, maybe it's because you gotta move the product. So I was moving the wand and trying to, um, I don't know, make myself feel better. And I was going around the bottle to see if it will cover. And obviously it covered the bottle with the lipstick because of the wand. There's like spots that you could see that is not full to the top. I don't know if you could tell in the lighting right here. But there's a hole that you could look through and it's in the bottom. So it's just like... What's going on, product? But uh, let's go ahead and I'm hoping they're not dried out because maybe they like them because they got dried out. I'm not sure. So we're just gonna hope for the best because I really wanted to try these. Also, before I start swatching it, I got a lip liner in the shade Dominatrix. And we're gonna open it up once I'm up to the shade. But let's go ahead and start from the left to right or 
I don't know if for you guys it's gonna be right to left or left to right. You are really dumb. I also forgot to mention that in the bundle, Top Shelf and Tasty are exclusive to the bundle, so you are not able to get a single liquid lipstick in those shades. So this is... Okay. So that's pretty cool to have an exclusive, well, two exclusive shades just for yourself. But we're going to start off with the lightest shade to the darkest. And the lightest shade is I'm Nude. This is the packaging, if you guys were wondering. This is the way it is. This is how the applicator looks like. This is how the I'm Nude shade looks like on my skin. This is how the I'm Nude shade looks like on my lips. Obviously, it's really light compared to my skin. Something I wouldn't really wear itself. I would honestly pair this with a dark lip liner, like a brown lip liner, and blend it into an ombre. Also, it doesn't feel drying, so that's the plus for me. Moving on to the next shade, which is Birthday Suit. It's uh, nude as well. I mean all of them are nudes <laughs> But it's more of a pink type of nude. This one actually is filled I believe because there's no crack. The birthday suit is more of a pink nude I said it feels like it has a lot of product, but I had to dip again my third time dipping and that sucks because it literally has a little bit I feel like I'll waste these mini ones so fast This is the way birthday suit looks like on my lips and it literally screams Barbie to me It's so pink and something I wouldn't really wear. It's not up my alley, but I'm not mad at it. It's cute, but just not my style. The next shade we are going with is Top Shelf. It's more of a, a warm brown. This is the way the Top Shelf looks on my skin. This is how Top Shelf looks like on my lips. And I have to say, so far, this is my favorite. I absolutely love this one. I love how it suits my skin. I just love how it looks on me. I thought I wasn't really going to like it because I usually don't wear dark lipsticks. But... I love this one. The fourth shade is Christmas Cookie. Once again, it's a pinkish nude. More like of a... I don't know if I'm tripping, but like a beige kind of nude. No, I'm lying. A pink kind of nude. This is how Christmas Cookie looks like on my lips. I have to say it's pink, but it's more of a softer pink compared to Birthday Suit. Birthday Suit screamed Barbie to me. This one is just like a normal pinkish type of nude. I feel like I could actually wear this every day. The next shade that we are going to be trying on is Nathan. It honestly looks exactly like Christmas Cookie to me. This is the way Nathan looks like on my skin. And you can actually tell the difference now compared to Christmas cookie. It's more of an orange nude than a pink nude. This is the way Nathan looks like on my lips. And I'm not a huge fan of it. It just looks too orange on my skin. It reminds me of a meme or something. I can't remember right now. But I don't know. I just don't like it on me. It's not my favorite. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next shade. We are moving to the next shade, which is Dominatrix. Am I saying it right? I feel like I'm saying it weird. It's another dark brown nude i feel like i'm gonna like it because i like top shelf and it's around the same shade just a bit darker dominatrix is more of a dark brown yes dominatrix is definitely more of a dark brown and this is the shade i got the lip liner also so we're gonna unpackage the lip liner because that's something i really didn't check to see if it's broken or nothing let's hope it's not but look how cute the packaging is it's literally everything. I'm living for this extraness. This is the way the lip liner looks with the liquid lipstick. This is the way the lip liner and dominatrix look like together. And I'm not mad about it. It gives me chola vibes and I'm living for it. But I feel like it's a bit too dark. The second to last shade is Family Jewels. I have to say this is... One of the lipsticks that I've been excited to get. I feel like it's something I would wear. And I was just like, I'm killing two birds with one stone. Because I'm getting this whole mini bundle. But I'm getting the lipstick I've been wanting. From Jeffree Stars. Again, it's a nude. I don't even know how to describe it no more. It's more on the dark side. Kind of pink. This is the way Family Jewels looks like on me. And as I expected, I was going to love it. I'm completely in love with it. And remember when I said the other shade. I think it was Christmas Cookie. That I would wear every day. Well, I would be able to wear every day. This is literally my everyday lip liquid lipstick i would throw on and it's just a classic you can't go wrong with it so if you could pick this up by itself i totally recommend it because i just love the way it looks on me as i said this is literally my everyday kind of liquid lipstick i would wear
the last shade sadly from the mini bundle is tasty once again it's another dark brown this is tasty and i feel like dominatrix is more of a reddish type of brown meanwhile the tasty shade is more of a brown type of tone if that makes sense for this swatch i said it was more of a brown tone that didn't make sense at all i meant it was more of a cool tone as you can tell it's literally a cool tone there's no warmth in this shade and i actually love it it just looks so good i feel like i would wear this one more instead of dominatrix so this is the way tasty looks like on my lips and now i think i'm gonna run it down and explain to you guys which ones i love which ones i don't so let me give you guys the rundown about this whole bundle if it's worth it if i recommend it to you guys and all that all right let me start off by saying do i recommend it i actually do don't get me wrong the whole experience i had with the collection kind of is a bummer actually to me but if you order maybe the product might be filled to the top and that won't be a problem and you know it's great but at the same time if that happens to you you'll get a refund so i'm not mad about it because it got handled well so if i had wasted my money on it and it came full to the rim i would be happy another thing is that there are eight shades obviously one two three four five six seven eight and this retails for 52 dollars you might be like oh that's a lot but if you think about it 52 divided by eight each mini lipstick was six dollars with change so i feel like it's worth it to have a type of shades and let's talk about the formula the formula on my lips are so comfortable my lips do not feel dried out at all they do not look dry my lips don't look chapped now let's jump into what shades i like and what shades i really don't like or what shades i will wear and what shades i won't i definitely will be wearing the i'm nude liquid lipstick because i could easily pair this with a brown lip liner and it will look so cute with an ombre effect with the brown i could even use the shade dominatrix the lip liner i got for the i'm nude and just blend it all out birthday suit i don't think i will be wearing it i'm pretty sure this was the barbie one top shelf has to be hands down one of my favorites i will definitely get a use out of this one christmas cookie i will be using as i said this was the one i said that i could see myself wearing it every day and i really could nathan i don't know how to feel about it the only reason is because kind of an orange pink and i didn't like how it suit my face so so far there's two that i would not be wearing but two out of eight i don't like so far dominatrix i could see myself wearing it i'm not just gonna leave it and just have it stored no i'm gonna be wearing it family jewels is my second favorite and this is my everyday kind of lipstick i will be wearing so if you see me with a kind of nude now from now on on my videos it's probably family jewels and last but not least tasty which is the shade i have on right now and i absolutely love it i love that it's like a cool tone and basically eight out of Hey, out of so basically six shades i will be using and trust me i will be using the crap out of it i feel like it's worth it it's worth the money in my opinion it was just a little inconvenience i had that's the final rundown of the jeffree star velour liquid lipsticks and before i close this video i'm gonna give today's shout out today's shout out it is gonna go to dalia and Sina. please go subscribe to her well go subscribe to them show them some love and tell them that you are coming from me they are two sisters with a channel and they are just so adorable and i love them because the bond they have together is so inseparable and i just love them yes that's today's shout out so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe for more content and thank you for watching everyone bye So this is say bye bye. Oh, what happened? You telling them I've been trying lipsticks? You have milk. You have milk.